Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where I should probably reload now that I'm looking. Oh, okay, I see. I thought maybe I had a higher insta capacity, but the highest you can get is 3. Hmm. At least I look bad, eh? Uh, meh. Took a bathroom break before this, so that way I wouldn't... You know. <laughs> and I've got my trusty soda pops. Soda pop, soda pop. Oh, what's going on in there? Is that Miranda? She's checking stuff around. Shepard. Yep. <laughs> A commander Shepard. Oh, Excellent time. That's Oriana. Put the gun down. No. Oriana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. No. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Leng didn't finish the job, but I will. What job? This ends here. For Miranda? On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I am not taking it. No, like, I definitely am getting her back. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and I got plenty of problem with you, bro. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? Perfect. All right. Take her. <laughs> but I want out alive. Deal? Good. Okay, good. I was like, if there's a renegade action... No deal. Thank you. I will take it. Because he is not getting out of here Did alive. He you? A sleazy you scumbag. Right? I just didn't want to it's hurt okay, Oriana. Mori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? You alright? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You alright? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. Your makeup's weird. You had to know that I would meet if there, anything's going on like this with Reapers and stuff and Cerberus that I was like the two biggest enemies I have kind of colliding like freaking I'll be there. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Mm -hmm. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up <laughs> and Kai Leng. You're talking. Your you mouth survived. is weird. Not many people could do that. She's like got red on her eyes when and you her mentioned mouth. he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Oh, good. I could have helped you. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. Take me on an entire you have facility? a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time I'm coming. I'm glad you are able to take him out yourself. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. I know. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. You better hope he's actually dead. Cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. Oh, don't talk like that. We can stop running. What's that pod thing? Yes, you can. No, we What's our run. status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone, but we've got basic facility information. Shuttle arrivals and departures. Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Ling took off, I planted a tracer on him. Sweet! If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. He didn't notice a tracer? tracer. Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <sighs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. You gonna be alright? <sighs> Thought you might need some good news. You have no Damn idea. Right. What's next for you two? Or Get Anna. her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. 
I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. Has anybody I left? Hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by my father, Cortez, we need to pick up Henry at the Lawson. tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Oh, yeah. I did not want to revisit Mass Effect 2's ending at all, like... Once you find out what the Reapers are doing... Sickening. I guess we could have crunched that into the last episode, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't sure there was going to be a big boss battle. I hope her dad's dead. I always take the Paragon route because I just wanted to make sure Oriana was safe and Miranda was safe. But I was going to kill him if I had a I chance. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. You didn't tell me that. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big, but we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. <sighs> Just to study indoctrination. Ugh. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth it. It wasn't. Lives. It's not worth it. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? They were just Reapers yes. with human faces. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance well, to we've, take we've got him? out of this We know war. where he is? Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. So this is not the last mission. Okay, I thought it might be. Wasn't sure. Priority, Cerberus headquarters. Take them out! Oh my gosh, are we gonna go take out the elusive man finally? Alliance? I think it was the 5th fleet that was updated. Or, oh, both. Okay, 6th fleet and 5th fleet. Uh, Alliance's sixth fleet was traveling through council space when Earth was invaded. The men and women on board watched helplessly as footage of the devastation rolled in. Their last order from Admiral Hackett was to avoid a engagement and lay in reserve. After waiting for so long, the sixth fleet is eager to finally engage the enemy. Oh. Wow. Uh. Cerberus encryption codes are helping the Alliance predict when Cerberus, where Cerberus is headed next. Good. Ex Cerberus. Miranda? Yeah. She's an ex Cerberus operative. At Cerberus, her intelligence, dedication, and leadership impressed the elusive man who assigned her to head the Lazarus team. Lazarus cell team that brought Commander Shepard back to life. Lawson brings a sense of knowledge of the elusive man's dealing to the, to the Alliance, directing them towards several clandestine. Excuse me. Cerberus operations. A skilled shot and a gifted biotic. Lawson is as comfortable in a pitched battle as she is in a boardroom. She's definitely versatile. But I didn't use her very often, but her her abilities were very, very good. I just preferred other teammates with me than her. <laughs> but um No, she's got ones that like improve the uh the team as a whole, so that's really cool. At least in Mass Effect 2 she did. What kind of soldier looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, Yeah, I want to help with that. <laughs> Same guy that lets Cerberus stick Reaper tech into his skull. Uh, Those bastards aren't human anymore. That's a good point. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon uh, hard. Really? She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Horizon's it was! Home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. At least... Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. Nice. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. It's true. We wouldn't have been able to find them without her. She was the one who, who pointed us in this direction. I hope the original Horizon people weren't... Like the original colonists. Were there no refugees left? Like, were they all, are they all gone? They all processed or whatever? It's just, the words they use about it, and it's like, who, what kind of human being, what kind of person? Oh, what? 
new article in the Quarian fleet, Talavin, the Turian hierarchy, one of the most powerful and respected ground forces in the galaxy, are today paying respects to an unlikely ally, the marines of the Quarian fleet. The weakened immune systems of Quarians normally means their forces are restricted to ships, but when an emergency technical team was required to repair a ground-based comm relay, providing vital intel to the Turian military, one Quarian squad... No... Command, commanded by squad leader Cal Rieger, the Quarian team repaired the comm system, then sacrificed their lives holding the position until Krogan troops arrived. When Turian troops offered to provide evac support, Rieger refused, insisting they could not risk the relay falling. He said multiple breaches to their exosuits made evacuation impossible. We're all dead anyway, Rieger reportedly said. Just make them pay for it. A spokesman for Primarch Victus praised the squad's bravery. Whatever our past politics, today the galaxy stands together against a single threat, they just said. We are humbled by the sacrifice of our allies from Ranak, and we promise to return the honor. I really liked him. It was I really liked Cal Rieger. From Miranda, Shepard, would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little cabin, captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime, I'm in the area. Right. Right, we're having Miranda over. Sorry, you couldn't come to the party, Miranda. You were busy. Commander. Um, I think we've got time. We will... I'll go talk to Joker really quick. Um, but we're gonna go run around talking to people. I feel like the ship has gotten more populated. Like, especially the war asset room. It was practically empty down there. And now it's... Everything's... I mean, these still only have, like, what? One or two people? I feel like some of this stuff that looks a little bit too reapery for me. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tip Tree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tip Tree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister. G Gunny's a nickname. She's had it since. Uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. <laughs> kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. I'm sorry, Joker. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She seems all right. She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. Mm -hmm. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know. I guess I can see the big picture, but... Where they thought it would help humanity, but once you start doing that, I think all hope is lost for you. You know, your cause is meaningless. I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky <laughs> eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. <laughs> damn right. <laughs> uh, Hello, Shepard. Oh, hey. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior. Are we on talking terms understand. now? We have to talk away from Joker. Have fun. <laughs> what is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? <laughs> the Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they, but they failed. tried. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. Hmm. No, I disagree. Shepard. Ah. I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? 
Because the Reapers are repulsive. Ah. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. You are. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. <laughs> and my core programming should reflect that. I'm glad. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. <laughs> that was awesome. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? You know. I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Hmm. Oh. Commander. Decoy unlocked. I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Hello, Shepard. Well, what are you examining in human literature? You could also be examining... We keep calling her, like, humanity and stuff, but she could sort of base herself off of an amalgamation of species. She could be part, you know, Asari, Salarian. She could do her own thing. She doesn't just have to be human, but I guess she's surrounded by humans, and she was created by humans, so it's going to be a natural tendency, and she's in the shape, the form of a human. So that would make sense. It makes sense. It's just like, well, hey, don't be too, you know... Oh, but what's going on with, uh, Tali? Where did you say Tali was? Uh, she, was she in the mess? Uh, I thought maybe Caden, maybe I should have brought Tally. I don't know why. If Tally's torn up about Cal Rieger, she might be, and I'm glad I read the news report on that. I hope... I don't think his name will pop up on the Alliance Memorial, because I think it's only for the Alliance troops that die. But Thane was an alliance. Neither was Morden, so... It just seems kind of... Legion was an alliance. It seems kind of... Uh... What's the word? Wishy-washy? <laughs> As to what names get put up here. I wish you could put your own, like, I guess that would be stupid, but if you could pick, act, you could, like, be like, hey, I want this character's name, this character's name, not just type in names, because you could make, like, you know, stupid names, but. Um. Everybody's good over here. Tali. Is she talking to Garrus? Do I want to be around for this? <laughs> Hello, Commander. Hello. I was thinking about getting Dominate, but I think a part of me is sort of repulsed by that. I like Slam. <laughs> I mean, well, I guess, you know, it's like... The difference is taking away free will or, you know, I could either mess with their brains or slam their body into the ground until they explode, you know? So it kind of seems like, what's the difference? They're both, they're dead either way. But again, it's like, I don't know taking away their free will and making them kill their comrades or whatever, even if they don't think of them that way, is, is a, it's a repulsive idea. I agree with you. Please, enjoy your day. Shut up, Glyph. Nope, I'm just never sure if I pick up stuff. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. So are you. I'm glad she made it. Me too. Hello again. We are just not getting anything on this anymore. I mean, I guess we got that uh, the email with Javik last time. Javik. Now his name's turning French. <sighs> so, Garrus, apparently Tally's having a hard time. You know anything about that? hope everyone's all right. I hope they're like making out because that would be a funny thing. A ha-ha type thing and not like a really sad depressing thing. So the elusive man really believes he can control reapers. I don't Husks think he can. are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. Mhm. Mm mm. A lot of Turians went to sanctuary. No way. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. I didn't even think about that. I thought that the species that were coming in, the Banshees and the Marauders, were dropped in by the Reapers. But I totally forgot that that, well, and that guy, remember that guy in the very beginning? 
the engineer guy with the Asari wife, and he told the her, her and the girls to go. <clears throat> it makes me so angry. The amount of children at Sanctuary, Sanctuary was much higher. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. For every one parent that came, they probably had like two or three kids at least. And some people probably just sent their kids. It pisses me off. So much. <sighs> Not right now. Dude, I'm gonna carve. We're gonna get his skull and we're gonna carve so many names on it. We're gonna need like a little microprocessor to do it. And then we're gonna throw it into the sea or something. I'm gonna carve him onto his freaking face. Nobody's in the bath. I'm always like kind of wondering if someone's gonna be in the bathroom. Like hiding in there. Hey, you're doing the same pose just over there and you're glowing. You did a weird little glowy thing like you're in the wrong room. I do like this room. It's very peaceful. The books over there and stuff. Can you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? Elusive man better say his prayers tonight. Because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. Nice. Well said. After what I saw down there, I have never been more filled with rage. I believe it. Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Okay, did this take Ready for this? the next mission. Whatever you got. Very hard. See, now this is, sounds more like the man I fell in love with in Mass Effect 1. Great, now you're doing it. It's all good, though. Wouldn't have worked out. Not with this character. Let's see. Always making the stop. Sometimes you just can't think of anything to say. Like, there's things to say, but you're like, I can't, I don't know how to say it. I don't, don't know how to say it. Oh, no. Tally. Oh, t oh no. Shepard, want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda. Are you okay? I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. <laughs> Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. <laughs> emergency induction uh... port. Actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect jeans and that attitude. I know and, what you're talking about. And still, she got it done. Um... She stopped her father. Tally, what's all this about? I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. Yeah. I didn't like her. <laughs> Kila, she was such a bitch. She was. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to uh, him, never changed herself to please him. But your fathers were different, Tally. Your dad only wanted the best for you. Miranda's dad was a psychopath. Your dad did things that put people at risk, but they were risks dealing with the Geth. That was, I mean, he did do experiments on the Geth. Which, you know, we're looking at the experiments and doing on humans, but I do think it's a little different. They, they don't process pain like we do. And they don't process suffering in the same way as we do. Not that I'm saying they're a lesser form, but it's just... Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe I am thinking that way. They're just... 
it doesn't look like us so like they don't scream and wiggle and bleed like we do so but I do think I mean there are differences obviously there's physical physiological differences but Miranda's dad didn't even like want daughters he just wanted like she said a dynasty but your dad wanted to get you a home a house on the home world ah uh, <laughs> ah uh, me you sound like a forger don't say that saying a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting her father I spent my life trying to live up to him then making up for his mistakes doing what he'd have wanted it's never that easy when do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? I don't know. That... is very meaningful. <laughs> I think. For me. The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. <laughs> Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. <laughs> Kila Salai. Kila Salai. Garris, please come talk to Tali. That, I was, I didn't know. I was like, what is making her so sad? But, I, I did, I have, no, I think I've mentioned it before, but there is a high prevalence of uh, women in Mass Effect who have daddy issues. Case number one from Mass Effect 1. <laughs> Case number two being Miranda who never shuts up about her dad ever. Uh, maybe I should go talk to Garrus in a second and be like, hey Garrus, go cheer up Tali. Maybe she just needs, you know what? She probably just needs a moment to herself. Like, getting drunk is sometimes people's solution to a problem. I don't think it's a solution to a problem at all. It just kind of stems the, you know, kind of shoves it to the side for a while, which is what some people want. But um, I think she just needs to kind of think about it kind of think about her life and think about her dad and she needs to realize that her dad and Miranda's dad were completely different I heard different about now. your talk with Liara you act so angry oh uh, Tally you really care about us you're drunk I need you functional to destroy <laughs> the Reapers you care about Liara <laughs> you like her you are intoxicated a foolish <laughs> risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology me too. This conversation is over. Yeah. I was going to say, it also lowers your inhibitions, so you talk about things that maybe you wouldn't talk about if you weren't drunk, and sometimes it's better to get it all out, you know, and get it all out on the table and talk with someone about it. There you go. We need to get Tally away from any intercom because she's not allowed, not allowed near the intercom, so <laughs> she's just going to start gushing. Oh, hey, cutscene, wow. Looks familiar. Why are you looking at my I've ship? I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Yeah. Something like that. Some, it was but exactly like that. resurrected to fight the Reapers. Yeah. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. Now that you say it. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. Are they the reason you wish to continue living? Of course. My crew has become my family. We've stared death in the face more times than I can count. Things like that bind people together in ways I can't really explain. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. Yeah. Good point. This. What's in here? This thingy. It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Only soldiers? Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. Can I read it? I have a cipher. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. 
Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? It's a hard choice. It would be easier to forget, but no one ever said it would be easy. And if you don't have a reason to fight, what's the point? Like, I don't know, you know, it's like, I don't know, I'm not saying it very well, but. And Javik doesn't strike me as someone who would back down and take the easy option out. If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Have you not used it? I thought you had. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verom Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Sorry, Javik. We knew there had to be a reason he was the way he was. Did he not remember any of that until now? And how did he manage to escape? The crew seemed shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. I thought he'd mention that. They shouldn't be. Why is that? Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. Uh, the entire planet joined in this ritual. Uh, I would spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reapers' job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. I look forward to it. Subjugating the Reapers will not bring victory. Only their extinction will. I know. Commander. There's no way I'd leave them alive. There's no way I'd control them. If I had the option to choose between controlling them or extinguishing them, I'd burn them out in a heartbeat. Nothing to report, Commander. Okay, he's like, you fussy mom, go away. Uh, nobody down here, right? Boop, 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 boop. Seems like the only reason for this place's existence is so Donnelly and... Donnelly and what was the other one? Daniels. I knew it was a D name. Donnelly and Daniels could go make out once. I really am sorry about Javik. I'm glad we were able to get some answers on his end, too. He gave Liara answers that were painful, and he got his own painful answers. Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and reaper connections, 
The exclusive details next in the battle space. Why would you want to watch that? Commander. And putting video cameras in the, the processing camps, like, I don't know why you want to do that. Everybody knows that everything that goes on in there is, like, horrible. Again, it's kind of like the Nazi prison camps. You see the smoke rising and everything, and I guess maybe some of the thicker people wouldn't understand what's going on, or people who didn't want to understand, you know? It's kind of what happened. I, as far as I can tell from what I've read about the Holocaust, it's what happened. A lot of the people just didn't want to know what was going on. Like, who would? Like, right? Like, you wouldn't want to know what was going on. Like, the majority of people would have reacted the same way. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. Yeah, and Esteban got to play uh, heroes for damsel <laughs> You know me and my damsels, Mr. <laughs> Raven? That I do. <laughs> what was that? That I do, yeah. Is everything okay, Shepard? No. Ma'am. Ma'am. I think every culture and every every nation has a story like that in its own way willing to ignore what they don't want to what they don't want to recognize as a problem crap we've gone over time dang it uh, I don't think there's anything I want I'm always worried oh, nope that no nope nothing there nothing there cool 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 I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was we on our have side. Allowed him the but I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. The only way he was exactly. able to find out... Just one more reason to hate them. The only reason he was able to find out what he was able to do was due to the experiments. I can't wait to take the fight to the elusive man. I wonder what he's thinking right now. You just know he's got a plan. Yep. I saw the crucible data Hackett sent. I don't know what the hell it does, but damn if it isn't impressive. Hey. 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 I think that's it. I did kind of want to go run check and see if I could. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go feed my fish. Kind of wanted to see if I could talk to Garrus, but I bet you I can't. But the thing with with Liara last time, like I talked to Tally, I said I'll talk to her. Went to talk to Liara. And it didn't tell me to go back and talk to Tally, but I did. And there was a there was an op there was a different option there. Whoop. Right, you're all still alive, right? Okay. I love them. They're so dang cute. I haven't been able to find any more models. I'm sad. Are you sad about that? Oh, I guess next time, though, we can go to the Citadel and uh, hang out with um, uh, Miranda at the apartment. That would be nice. It seems like she's going to be the last one. Yeah, no. I've had... Have I had two for everybody? Sort of. I mean, James and Cortez kind of combined in the last one. But I did have one for Cortez and one for James. And then Tali. Um, did we have? Uh, we had the movie, but I can't think of anything else. Garris. Maybe later. All right. Just so you know, your girlfriend is wrecking up the intercom. She might start talking to you. That would be so funny. She's like, you like us. You like Liara. I'm like, yes, I knew he does. I knew. That's my prediction. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That is my prediction. Um... But I guess I'll call this one here for now, you guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. We are able to finish up Horizon, and now we're going to go destroy Cerberus headquarters. Um, but first, we'll go hang out with Miranda at the Citadel really quick, and that'll probably be the last 
last one there to worry about. Um, yeah, this is, it feels like it's coming to a close. We're already over 100 episodes, which is just great. Just great. So exciting. But I've had a really good time. I've had a pretty crazy time. Ups and downs all over the place, but that's what I love. But yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.